Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Swissman15, and welcome back, or actually welcome to the first episode of this relocation campaign that we're doing in Medieval Total War. If you watch the vote um, video, then you know voting on this, but if you don't, and you're just tuning in now, and you didn't vote, how dare you not see the vote video, or if you're late, then just welcome. Um, but anyway... Uh, basically, it was a close vote, but what we're going to do is we're going to move a faction to a different uncommon area. In this case, it's going to be Russia. Um, now, the second highest was also France moving to Jerusalem. This one is Russia to Florence. Um, so, it was a close vote. I got three votes for each on YouTube comments, and then also an additional four on each via Steam message. Um, I don't know why people, for both actually, so it was tied 7-7 in total votes on Steam. I don't know why people voted on Steam. Uh, I guess I didn't clarify to vote in the comments, but they messaged me and I tallied them because I was like, alright. <laughs> um, apparently it's easier to message me on Steam to vote. I don't know. Maybe I should have done that straw poll thing. Straw poll thing. Anyway, it's tied, so I'm going with Russia, mostly because one thing... I want to do it more, also because France and Jerusalem seems more like another Crusader hot seat type thing. And also, some of you just voted for things that were not even there, like Scotland and Crete, which is just a no. <laughs> I'm not doing Scotland. I refuse. I'm not a Scottish fan. Um, anyway, so we're going to be going to very hard difficulty and moving Russia to Florence. I'll be showing you how I do that. I know that Emperor the Good Known said I'd be using Geomod. It's possible with Geomod, but it's then I have to change all the game files and then change them back when I want Russia back in starting location, that's just too much work. So I'm going to be doing it a little bit less effective, but also, well, good enough. It's good enough and a little bit more typing, I guess, maybe. Uh, probably less work, I'm not sure, but uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's just going to be straight in the campaign. So we're just going to do very hard, very hard. Um, manage all cities, no battle time limit. Yes, it's perfect. And uh, select Russia, of course. That would be also a good thing to do. Uh, we need Constantinople and Jerusalem, so we need to get to here from Florence. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, so let's start and watch this lovely video on the uh, Florence. I don't know if you see that on the upper right, that live thing. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Russia faces invasion by nomadic tribes and foreign conquerors. Its harsh landscape has given rise to a steadfast people. Their devotion has led them to great deeds. Oh, it's the same film. He's not even saying anything anymore. Just all the narrative is gone. Oh, how abysmal. Uh, just watch people get stabbed. <laughs> Yay, dead people. To survive, the Russians must fend off wild adversaries. To become an empire, they require a leader who will steal the kingdom and make its borders impenetrable. Okay, we get it. Good enough, good enough. All right, that is everything. So here we go. Here we start moving. Oh, okay, no. A quote from Niccolo Machiavelli. But we'll start in a second. Aha. So we're not going to be staying here long. We do have, what, three characters? Prince Vladimir, Mikhail, and Grand Duke Vyazolovod. <laughs> I can't say that. Um, Yevzolod. Good thing he's dying, and you get nice old Vladimir over here, 28 years old, gonna be good king, good king. So basically, how this is gonna work is we're gonna take these, everything we have, really, um, just gonna move that out here, and we're gonna move it to Florence, which is right about here. So, uh, what you do to do this in my way is you're gonna do hold, say, I want the army that I'm gonna move to show up there, so I'm gonna do... Um, oh wait, I remember this. Show underscore cursor stat. Yes, and then let's say that's position 100 comma, 140 comma 100. All right, so then I'm gonna do uh, move 
under space character. Oh, not two spaces. Gotta be very careful. Vladimir, so Vladimir. And then we'll do 140, 100. I need a comma after this name. So make sure everything, every single piece is perfect, and then you just enter. Aha, uh -huh. and there he is, Prince Vladimir. Um, I could have probably moved the agent with him, I'm not sure, but he's right next to Florence, but we're gonna get the other uh, peoples over, and also the spy, of course. That's a long name. And our bishop. And we're gonna move it over here, just, uh, I'll move them all off camera, but that's the idea. Um, just move them, each by a different name. Make sure you put them at slightly different areas so they don't overlap. Um, I don't know what happens if you do, I just don't want to try it out and test it. And then I'll bring you up to the next scene where we just make sure we guarantee that we get Florence um, in a siege. And also what I'm going to do is make Novgorod happier. And actually I'm going to keep one troop behind so that we don't lose it right away. Um, so I'll move them over and then I'll bring you guys right back. So see you guys in a second. And welcome back everyone. I moved everything down to Florence. Now I must mention right now is that if you have a character with the last name, you must put the name in quotation marks in this format seen here. Move character space quotation name first name space last with all the punctuation and then end quotation space um, X Y. Not the same as before because I couldn't move the spy and I got Emperor of the Great Unknown, Great Unknown to help me there. So now we are Russia and Florence. So basically what I'm going to do is, um, I, there's a way to guarantee success, but I'm not sure and that we can just attack one turn, but no. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get Prince Vladimir to besiege this. We'll get the rams that we need, and also we'll get this army in here too, just to make it uber big. Um, we're going to get this out of the way for now. Get our characters on the move. Let's talk diplomacy wise to uh, these guys here. Ah, an alliance with the Papal States? Maybe we'll avoid a military war. We'll do that. And we'll take that. We know exactly where the Papal States are. Okay, so we have some relations going on. We'll get keep our bishop right here. Um, get our spy up north to see what's going on in the rest of Italy. We're going to spend money early on and get this boat. Use this boat to go over here. And be see here. The only battle that I'm not going to fight out and just guarantee my victory in is Florence. I just don't want to deal with that. Um, we could fight it, but it's so much work and effort. After that, it's all good. Okay, so we're just going to um, end the turn. Maybe we'll go up to a very high tax rate just to keep us from losing too much money here. Um, yes, and we'll end the turn. Ah, voila, we're back. All right, we, wow, we're number one financially. That's a shock. Okay, so what you do now is, oh, what's the, I know this command. I know this command, bear with me. How can I forget it? Oh, I'm such a disgrace. You know what, we'll just fight it out. We will just fight it out. That is the way it's gonna be. Um, so, let's assault. We can win that pretty easily. Um, yeah. We'll fight it. I forgot to set a timer, so I'm gonna set one up right now. <laughs> Just assume that I'm in at least four minutes, yeah, that's good. Um, if I knew how to set one. Apparently I do not know how to set up a timer on my phone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 311 right now, so you know what? I'll work off that. Start deployment. Let's just get Russia on the move before we abandon Novgorod completely and totally. And we'll take Florence as our new capital. Um, yeah, we'll just use these spear militia here as the way of getting through. Actually, let's not assault there. Let's assault somewhere where we don't have to face as many towers like over here. And we'll just move this here. Get these guys. Hey, I thought I told you to drop it. <laughs> there we 
go. Um, get the archers, get them off skirmish mode. Get them lose. We're actually going to use them to shoot over the walls. That's what I like about assaulting towns, is that I can just shoot over the walls with no hassle. We'll also do that with these guys. So start the battle. We'll go right here. We'll get all of our archers, probably in like this format right here. And speed it all up. Speed it all up. Okay. Now hold on just a minute, all of you guys. Stay right there. Slow down. Let's also get our what are these Cossacks? Yes, Cossacks. Interesting. Okay. So let's begin the volleys of Russian arrows upon these scum. Um, we might want to get two of these a little bit closer to shoot at a better angle, maybe, like right here. Let's run them this way. We'll get these two marching forward. Come on, scrubs. We've got a place to kill. A place to dig. Aha! We are through. Now, we definitely have inferior infantry, not only in just because we're Russia, but also because they have great militia troops to start. Uh, please let go of that. And what we're going to do is just shoot them to death. Because we can. Alright, you guys are just going to fire there. You two are going to move a little bit closer here. Actually, what we could is start infiltrating... But he's got Italian Spear Militia, and those are really good. Uh, they're like 7 and 13, which is just one stat below Armored Surgeons. But we got a nice volley of arrows coming in. What is it? 0% of our army dead? Why are we losing troops then? Oh, to this tower that's being pesky. Get away, tower, get away. Alright, we'll just get a good few volleys in, make sure we kill enough. And then we can move on to the next task of taking the town. Come on, run in. We want to kill those Italian... Italian rebel scum? What do you got coming here? Italian militia, that's nothing important to me. Alright, we'll start with the first assault group. Which are the original bearers of the ram, and we'll get them inside and start killing and taking this petty town that we will make our capital, and it'll become grand underneath us. Grand, I say grand. Um, all the arrows, oh, it's a, a beautiful sight, really. Um, it's music to my eyes. What? <laughs> not music to my, it's art to my eyes. You know the saying, music to my ears, but I'm not, it's not a sound, so. It all fell apart. It all fell apart just like my life. <laughs> uh, oh, it just gets better every time I make that joke, because it's true. Should I just focus down on this unit now? No, oh, they got oh, quite a few left. The stupid walls are in the way is the problem. I hate walls. Alright, we'll get this Italian militia. Focus fire all on this Italian militia unit. And we'll take you guys out. Get our main general up here, Prince Vladimir, who will be a great, great king to start this expedition. Here's the background of this story. Prince Vladimir, our lovely prince who is now running toward the battle fray. Uh, oh, you guys are going to ram a bit if that happens. Prince Vladimir noticed, and his uh, king, of course, he convinced the king of this, is that the Italians... The, though the we were original Christians with the Orthodox Church, while well, the Orthodox Church bra branched off af afterwards, they realized that the Italians are still under the Orthodox rule, and the Pope is just too strong, and Russia is an outdated territory, and we can they can go devote their Russian culture and Orthodox ways over in Italy and Europe to spread the true ways of Christianity, opposed to the Catholic heathen. And um, thus they set on a voyage, landed on the with their one ship after sailing across strangely fast for the time period and got over here where they will now assault and make a new homeland inside Italy and um, they will fight honorably for the Orthodox Church and spread Orthodox Christianity 
across the land. Isn't that beautiful? A little bit, yes. Okay. Um, we should speed this up just a bit. We're losing quite a bit of troops to this fray. What's he got back here? He's got crossbow militia somewhere. Here they are. Probably about to start shooting upon me. Let's get some arrows back on them. And I would like for one day these guys to be dead. But apparently that's not going to happen. At least my archers will get mate might get some experience. Mate. Mate might. Might is not mate. They are different words, Swiss men, they are different words. Okay, um, oh, we're facing around, but that's okay. Of course, it is much higher quality infantry, but we are winning because we are shooting so many of them dead. Uh, let's just keep the onslaught of arrows coming. Maybe eventually we will kill off these Italian militia. When the general dies, it's all over for them, of course, but I prefer not to lose so many troops in this fight. Ah! Parents are home, or at least one of them is. I hear my garage. It's a loud garage door. We still have the manual ones where you actually have to like use your upper arm strength to uh, open it. Well, not completely, because it does have springs to aid in the process, but... Nice innovation. Physics! The physics of springs. I remember doing that. We're doing rotational inertia and crap right now in my physics class, and I can't do it at all. I am not that skilled. Alright, are you guys done firing? Of course you are, you have no more arrows. Um, no, 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 don't walk in! No, 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 no. And uh, here we are, we'll just kill that. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that, sorry indeed. Okay, here we are, we have caused the routing, the king, not the king, the captain is dead. We'll get our good troops in and just finish it all right now. You guys can stop firing, of course. It is time to stop that. Let's kill these guys. End the battle! We lost far too many troops for this. Florence Town will probably sack it for all the money that it is worth. It's gonna be one of our smallest settlements, but that is alright. Uh, my mother is being loud. Jesus Christ. Um, let me just pause again and ask her to be quiet. Politely, of course. Sorry once again. What an abysmal start to a new series, eh? Alright, we will sack it for the money's worth that it is. We will create it as a new capital of our kingdom. We're going to go to low tax rate because we want to grow this to be a massive city because it is our capital. We're going to get an orthodox church going and that should be good for now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Novgorod will riot. <laughs> um, wow, we could actually keep it with such a low tax rate. Uh, no, we, wanna, we want it to be gone. We'll disband this army. We're going to get rid of Novgorod completely. It's just not our business. We'll scrape every bit of money out of it as we can. Actually, we'll take the buildings. Because, you know, it's good to take the money while we can. Ah, Prince Vladimir winning first. N plus two command. He's going to be a great prince slash king of the future era. <laughs> um, did we not build siege equipment? Ah, we're dumb. So dumb. And uh, we'll get it next turn. And we actually have woodsmen. So what can we recruit here? Absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So we could start fighting against the um, actual European factions that are around us. I'm not sure if we should take our time, go for rebel, rebel settlements. We'll keep that cog here. Yeah, we should take our time, probably. Get these guys moving. Go to the next turn. Wow, Novgorod's still with us. Oh, they're riding. They'll be gone next turn. And... We got the church. Good. Okay. So we are off to a great start of converting this place to, uh, to orthodoxy. Of course, it's going to have a little bit of problem. Oh, let's repair this wall and build a road. Wow, 3%, that stunted quickly. <laughs> we are gonna be losing money. Wow, actually we are not losing that much. I don't know how, but we are not. Hmm, where's this money coming from? I don't know. <laughs> um, 
We can move these and go here. Get some trade rights with the Holy Roman Empire. And that'll be good. Hopefully a little bit more money. Did that just increase? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm hallucinating. I thought that was at 600 before. Trade's at 105. That's decent enough. Plus it'll increase once we have the roads. Uh, let's take Ajaccio as our next settlement of interest. Yeah, we can take that pretty quickly. And um, then we will have two rebel settlements under our control in Italy. Spread the Orthodox faith. Doom, 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 doom. I miss the music. It's good music here. Alright, stock deployment. Of course, of course, we are going to go with loose formation here. Um, we will penetrate the side because then I have to face less towers, and the less towers I face, the happier I am. Grand Duke, who will probably be dead soon. He doesn't have much life in him left, so I don't care if he dies in battle or anything. I will not fight for his life too long. Let's just get all our troops moving up. Woodsmen are pretty decent for... Uh, what do they got? 13 and 1? That's alright. It's decent. Okay. They got surgeon spearmen, peasants, and peasant archers, so nothing too intimidating, actually. Fortunately for us. Because the surgeon spearmen are somewhat adequate. We're just going to focus down on them. Peasants can melt away in combat in seconds. So they are nothing to be worried about, nothing at all. Do they have poor morale too? No, they have good. They even have good stamina. Holy crap! <laughs> Look at the woodsmen. Good stamina, everything. Can run for a while. All right. How many of these guys are left? A few. Yay! The walls fall before the righteous. Okay, we'll get this Sacrificial Woodsman unit inside here. Oh, look at all the arrows straight into them. Oh, we can even get our Grand Duke going around this side. He can almost take out this entire settlement on his own, I bet. But we're just going to go in. Peasants do not want to stand and fight. That is quite fine indeed. Uh, we'll just get all our missiles firing over here to avoid friendly fire now. Whew. We can just overrun these guys. Probably. Come on, take them out. Take them all out. To dinner, of course. We would never kill them. <laughs> That's rude to kill. Killing is rude. A little bit rude. Somewhat rude. Mildly flattering sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. Alright. Can you guys route? You guys are wavering. I'd like you to route now. Uh, I thought that was ours for a second. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? You died as Surgeon Spearman? Alright, but I don't care if he dies. But I was just gonna say. It'd just be ridiculous, nonetheless. Let's go take out all these peasant archers. A few of them have died to missile fire, but it's no matter. No matter at all. Speed it all up. Because we know we can just run through these guys with this one general's unit. Because they're just peasant archers, of course. And they're all wavering and I'm happy to be here. Just get the uh, woodsmen in as well. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Take it all away. You have crap units and I have massive general's bodyguard. You lose. And... The fight is over. 34 men, not too bad, not too shabby. Much better than taking a... Uh, Florence, of course, the capital that we have. Ajaccio, that is now our new. Sack it. Uh, just the money's not worth it to kill all the populace. A veteran warrior. Congrats. Fair and rule? Eh, I guess he's fair. Fierce in battle. Good, good. He fought. He fought well. Okay. 
So we're just going to repair that and upgrade this to the next level of the wooden castle that it can be. And this has been, what, almost 20 minutes? Oh, it could be long for this episode. Why the hell not? Um, should we go take the next settlement down there? Caligari, I think? Or no, we need to start advancing on other, other factions available here. So we're just going to take these troops, head them out this way under the Grand Duke and the Prince. Um, that's a good force. Or at least it's the biggest force we can get. Um, our bishop is in here. Why didn't we move him in there? I don't recall that. I do not recall such an action as that. Okay, so we can go the next turn. Oh uh, yeah, we lost Novgorod. Oh well. We, we lost Novgorod. And we're making money somehow. Okay, we need to start spreading because this is a crucial time period because we can't recruit too much or make too much money. So we can't sustain mass construction for a long time. Hey, we're getting... Yeah, trade actually increased our population growth. So this settlement will upgrade in no time whatsoever to be a better capital for us. Russia and Florence. Um, we're going to want to take Bologna first and just the the itchery out of our hair. So the next time we face them is when we have a larger area. Um, we'll try to keep, I think, Milan as an ally for the longest amount of time. They're the hardest to kill, so we'll actually keep get them in alliance. Because if we don't have to fight them, we can just go in other directions. Yes. Russia and Milan, we are now good friends. Obsessed suitor with a Oh no! Oh god, she's got a stalker! Okay. Please don't be stalked. Why does that subtract obsessed suitor minus? Oh my god, stupid. Look at him. Now at least he's handsome. From his uh, profile over there. Alright, we'll take um, Bologna on. We will assault it for all its glory. Probably a two turn siege, make sure that we are ready and capable. Because he's got generally better units than us in here. It would be a hard win. So we can just take our time. And that's good. Four turns in. Okay, this should upgrade this turn. Yep, we now have a wooden castle. Yay! A gift? Wow! How kind of you guys. Uh, we'll just keep on upgrading this place and get some good units here. We're gonna need a port in time. We can get that when this upgrades to the next settlement level. Okay, we will continue. Just get first some diplomatic relations with these guys. Now, who do we want an alliance with? Maybe the Hungarians would be a good choice. And go to the Byzantines, who are our natural Orthodox allies. We didn't lose. Yeah, we didn't lose reputation for attacking the Atri. I don't know how I lost them. In uh, I was playing as the Moors, and I seemed to gotten very untrustworthy without ever getting a single ally. So I'm like, who did I betray? I had no clue. I still have no clue. Okay, so we'll go to the next turn once again. France. That's the other direction. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to France. But it's an unproductive way. Okay, we will be getting the next settlement level, of course, of course. Wow, we're increasing at 4%. This is almost a population boom. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Land clearance, good. That's growing. So we're just upgrading settlements right now. But this is uh, good progress for the first turn. Uh, we'll take Bologna on the next one with Grand Duke if he doesn't die. He's 52. He's decently old. But Prince Vladimir, he's one awesome fellow, ain't he? Um, heir apparent. How much authority will he have? I hope quite a bit. 
man winning first dread. So he doesn't do that much authoritarian stats, just like his father, who is only his authoritarian stats from being a leader. That's kind of sad. Hmm. Alright, and he's supposed to be somewhat chivalrous. That's the he's getting chivalrous traits, but he has dread on him. I don't know, I don't wanna Acknowledge it. We'll have to get assassins and lower his reputation in no time whatsoever. But that is the first episode, guys. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy this series. It's going to be great now that we have a little foothold, our orthodox foothold. We're not quite orthodox yet. 21% in Florence, but we're going to get there. And we're going to take Bologna, and then probably Venice. And then we'll have this decent northern Italy under our control, and then we can go this way making a lot of enemies off the start but that's you know that's life that's life um oh we can't even do a holy war of any sort but that's okay it's all okay and we'll be fighting the moors which would be fun so thank you all for watching like comment subscribe and i'll see you all on the next episode goodbye my friends